decarbonize our societies and to reach the climate and energy targets of the EU's Green Deal, offshore wind is key. As a transmission system operator, our job at Alia and 50 Hz is to transport the electricity generated here at sea to the demand centers at land. We do this by planning, building, operating and maintaining the on- and offshore transmission infrastructure. To do this in the most efficient, safe and reliable way, we are always looking to innovate and improve our methods. We have a lot of innovation already in the wind farms, but the key now is to innovate the transmission infrastructure. We are Tidewise Brazilian startup. We design, build and operate autonomous service vehicles and other robots to collect the data at sea. Last year we won the Elio Group Open Innovation Challenge. It's been a great journey. The installations, for example, the MOH are 40 kilometers offshore. So once a year we inspect the cable, the full cable routes, and we look if the burial and the protection of the cable is still fine. And sometimes we can go with a boat or sometimes we need to go with a helicopter, but there is always a safety factor. We are building increasingly complex assets and therefore we are pushing to move from reactive to predictive maintenance to continuously monitor the health of our assets with near real-time data coming from sensors, autonomous boats, drones or robots so that we can calibrate the best time to do the maintenance and avoid downtime of our assets. Two points our 5 meter USV. She is designed and built to operate in offshore. So she's totally built in aluminium, very rugged vessel, and she's capable to receive different kinds of sensors. So today we have a motor beam, a LiDAR and a drone platform, but we can also have a ROV integration, we can have different kinds of sensors to collect the Metocean data, for, for example. In this USV project, we are testing an autonomous and unmanned surface vehicle together with a drone. The objective of the project is to undertake a full cable survey with a multi-beam echo sound system to inspect our platform with a LiDAR laser scan and to do high resolution inspections of the platform. So if you see the Tupan, what we did today, it gives us a much more efficient tool to go out. We don't need people offshore, so it's, it's also safer. And we already see that we can increase flexibility, we can increase sustainability because we have less CO2 emissions and less impact on the marine life and we decrease cost. So what we see in the future is that we will have the autonomous vessel at the platform so we can continuously and at any time monitor our cables, our platform and survey the area around.